Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupy Plays All the Games, this time with the Kenny Jam, which had the theme of Cursed. If you don't know Kenny, he is known as Asset Jesus. He makes lots of assets that are amazing. You can see them in many games across the interwebs. And this game jam is designed to challenge developers to make a game using only assets made by Kenny. Um, it's great. I'm playing all the games for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. All my info is also in the description so if you want to support me, you can support me on Patreon or follow me on Twitter. Yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. Next. We're playing I Was Cursed. I like this graphic style. It's great. It's also quite unique comparatively to the other games we've played. Oh, we got a light, okay. Blinded from the beauty of the world. Alright, well, don't worry, I'll keep going towards these beacons so that we get more of this, like, little poem that's been written. Oh. It's like a graveyard, I can't really... Oh, there we go. For I was trying to live too fast. Yeah, I can't actually see anything anymore. It's a really interesting concept. I kind of wish... We couldn't look up and down using our mouse so that there was always like it always felt like we were going in the right place because at the moment it doesn't feel like it because I can't see anything. I quite like this poem as well. Next. We're playing Chris Ahoy. I had to download it because the web browser wouldn't work on my computer. You're in command of the Caribbean's most notorious ghost ship, the Emerald Anchor. Your destiny is to curse all the other ships in the harbor without being spotted. Be quick, be smart, set sail. You are in control of a cruise ship. Approach nearby civilian vessels to put them under your command. Yeah, this is so much better than the downloaded version. I'm a ghost. You're also a ghost. Yar! Curse all the ships to gain control of them. The more ships you have near or on cruise vessel, the quicker it will feed control. They don't even try to escape. They don't care. They know that they're just gonna have to be cursed. Awesome. But beware, the benefit of being cursed is that you can move through whatever you like. Alright, got it. I don't know why I read beware. Imagine if you were just sailing and then all of a sudden you were a ghost. The land lumber morals have set themselves up with these lookout lighthouses to catch the cursed ships. Okay. Oh, but they can't reach me here. So. I see, this is where the challenge starts. So now it's a bit more of a puzzle. Yeah, I use the rocks. That's what, that's what I'd plan on doing. Can't see me. We'll all start to see how fast this goes down. Actually, I think we'll be fine. Next. We're playing Disenchant Imp. Uh, Alright, so space to start. That's fine. I'll just start. I don't need to skip a tutorial. I, I need them. Alright, welcome to the Cursed Well, my trusty imp. Many adventurers discard their items with malenchantments here. It is your job to forge new weapons by combining the cursed items while fighting the occasional skeleton. Oh yes, skeletons will deliver a point of damage when touched, so very much don't do that. Alright. So this is what we're trying to do? Yeah, we're trying to line stuff up. I can line stuff up. You want a sword? There. Oh! Don't bring down skeletons at all. Ah, you've opened the exit so you can try a more difficult task. If you fail these early tasks, just try again. We just don't want to touch them at all. Alright, let's just go to the next area. Sure. There, there. I think you have the hang of it. Uh, if it takes you too long to forge any item, they will be tossed in and push the whole mess down. And those spiders, you can match them, but they will slow you down with their webs. Okay, so, it says what they want. They want, like, some of these. I'll match you, I guess. I'll match this. I'll take this guy, even though I don't want him. Here's a shield. I oh, know you want shields. So this, this guy will slow us down, but we'll get two swords near each other. Just beat you up. 
We just need more shields. Oh. Yeah, if things are too slow, you can... Uh, cool. Just bring them down. I don't want to bring stuff down. This is fun. For now, I'll require more kinds of items and even faster. See how many you can get before I um, need a new imp. Yeah, I see. I understand. Boop. Boop. There's an item. You wanted that. You don't need any more of those. You need a shield? Sure. Will this go sideways? Yeah, that worked. Awesome. We'll take this. What else do you need? Swords and shields. Maybe we can get you a sword. And then we can start getting you a shield as well. Literally don't care about the spider at all. Just trying to get my s oh okay that still worked. Well then that's that actually. I'll just take this down and put it back up. Done. Next. We're playing around and back. Okay, space to begin. Oh, and then we use the mouse. My bad. How do? You, what do you mean move clockwise, move counterclockwise? I don't understand. Use the, the paddle's been cursed and will shrink every time it touches the ball. Alright. Yeah, but... Move the mouse. Do I have to hit these things? These little arrows don't do anything. Space to begin. I don't understand. Mouse. Clockwise. I wish it let us move our thing first, but I literally have no idea how to control this. Like, surely there is a way. I don't know why space to begin is also still there after I press space. That's, like, very confusing. Move... Is it arrow keys? It is arrow keys. Sorry, I guess I was really confused because it says menu doesn't use mouse, so I assumed the rest of the game used mouse because that's the only controls I got told. But no, it's just like, duh, use arrow keys. I'm dumb. We didn't get that. Ah, darn it. Alright, yeah, it's a pretty simple game. I don't know why those arrows at the bottom confuse me so much, and I am a bit embarrassed about the whole scenario. I like how those buttons- Ah, oh, we're not gonna make it change with the color that we are. Next. We're playing Happy Burb. Okay, I messed up big time. I'm supposed to hang out with my friends, but on the way I thought I saw one of them, so I sneaked up behind them and went, surprise hug! And while squeezing tight, I noticed they smelled off. Oh no, that wasn't my friend, it was a grouchy village wizard. He exploded, ah, I told you to stop hugging me. The first five hugs might have been accidents, but at this point, it's clear your words mean nothing. He raised his staff towards the sky and unleashed a curse on everyone. My legs disappeared, and my hugging arms. Ha, ah, you'll never be able to hug anyone now. And he turned everyone into a freaking square, the worst shape in the world. But I have a secret. I stole something from that wizard. A stone tablet. I don't know what it does, but maybe you can use it to help. Please reunite me with my friends. And obviously your hugger arms. Oh, okay, so go right while on ground. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh, we need to move these. Beautiful. Okay, so this is like a little command thing. I suck at these. Alright, we want to go right. And then what if we do? Jump. And then we want to like... And then... Awesome! This is so easy! Like, it could have been way more complex, but this is quite bite-sized and good. Oh. Well... I think we're gonna need to like jump and then any time. All right, this is very well made. Next, we're playing Get Cursed On, another game that looks like it's struggling on my computer. Nah, actually it's fine, great. I don't know, man, my computer's struggling. I'm gonna need to make some updates to it and I don't know how computers work or how to actually make updates to it, nor do I wanna buy something if I don't understand what it is. So that's where we're at when it comes to the fact that my computer needs an update. I like how the bullets are Words. You know what I mean? Alright, we need to kill at least one of these because we're not at the minute. We're just mildly damaging 
of them with our bad aim. Alright, stay in a circle. Oh wait, we're caught on a, on a grave. <laughs> on a tomb that's on top of the dirt for whatever reason. Oh, we got one. Wow, that was quite nice, the explosion that happened at the end, yeah. I'm not going to be good at this game, I can feel it. My aim is very bad. We can switch guns. Should we switch guns? Oh wow. Wow. Look at how fast this is unlimited. Oh, don't don't shoot me from that far away. That's cheating. Oh, there's another one just hiding up here. Cool. Next. We're playing the Bat Mafia. We don't need a tutorial. It'll be fine. Oh wow. Okay. We need a tutorial. Hmm. You've been cursed by the demon's bat. Defeat the bat mafia who is trying to kill you in order to recover the bat. The bat will attract you to anyone near and try to kill it. Uh, make your way. Try avoiding the normal citizens. Eliminate the mafia members. Okay, so we killed someone right off the bat and I was like, yeah. The answer is no, not yet. Get the mafia. Oh, don't go them. It's weird though because the mafia, they have guns. Um, and we're trying to go near them, which... I mean, I don't know if we should go near someone who's got a weapon the way we are, but that's fine. Can we, can we ride the car? No, we can't ride the car. All right. I think we're doing great, all things considered. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. There's a lot of people in this area. We've only gotten rid of one citizen, so I guess that's fine. Darn it. Next. We're playing Curse 2020. All right, so we can zoom in. Middle mouse to move around. I'm glad I have a middle mouse button. Alright, there's a car here. Mm, there's a couple of cars. What am I meant to do though? That I don't know. It says the game name. Right, it says that the AI, because of the game jam time structure, uh, broke and the game doesn't work, but it is some really cool like graphics and pictures of the game working Which I mean I'd love to see further and it's got linked to github. I wish they'd just built a Post jam version and upload to itch cuz that'd be cool But you know they are building the city and it, stuff's happening and it's pretty cool that They got an AI working at all like doing literally anything even if it's being broken and it does look like a, a huge curse so game jam met next we're playing Central Park Nanotech Warlex. I'm not very good at these types of games. Oh, there's a lot of them now. So we're gonna run because... Don't be surrounded. That's bad. Okay, we only have five health left. What does this do? Oh, nothing. Okay. There's more health. You can only hold five items. Okay. Any killers? Oh, there's a lot of items here. Yeah, but we're gonna die because there was also a lot of baddies. Okay. Well. There we go, I think. I like how this person's trying to come up behind me. Am I hitting them with all of these weapons? Surely I'm not. I don't know. I die a lot. This game's well made. Next. We are playing Cursed Graveyard. This is fine. Last time I started it, it just kind of broke on me, so... I don't really know how to play. 140. You want a gravestone. Okay, well. It cost me 50 to make and 140 to sell. Uh, no, I, I made it for you. Interactions are a bit tough. What do you make? Oh, lots of stuff. Oh, you can make a pumpkin. Two hundred and six for what? Oh, that one. All right, well, let me take a look. Gotta be so fast, and I am not because I don't understand any of these controls. All right, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yep, I gave it to you. I gave it to you. It's right there. I don't, 
understand. Oh, I take this. Oh, I take this, and then I bury it. Throwing stuff. The controls are, are very difficult for me for literally no reason. How do we plant this? Like, it won't let me plant it. Alright, there we go. Plant it. Cool. Alright, yeah, I'll take your coffin. Sure. I ain't sure remember what everyone wanted, but just put that in there for now. This. But I think you wanted this. No, I don't. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, well, next.